It's a filthy flyweight banger kicking things off. We got Meaty Maya taking on Manol Fiato. And this one should be pretty fun because Manol Fiato has been nothing but impressive. 8-1. and one. She's undefeated in the UFC. Last time we saw her was against legit competition too. Myra Buena Silva is no slouch. And Fiato went out there and just across three rounds made it look relatively easy against her. And the TKO fi uh, finishes she picked up before that was nothing short of impressive. And she's getting a lot of love from the odds makers in this one as a minus 450 favorite. And she's taking on Jennifer Maya, who is 19 and 19, 8 and 1. She did lose that last fight to Caitlin Chukagian. And it was a fight where uh, it was a pretty decisive win for Chukagian, despite the fact that she was then released from the UFC afterwards. So kind of interesting circumstances in that one. But Jennifer Maya, we got to remember, is, you know, someone who took out Jessica I. Uh, she beat Joanne Calderwood, a.k.a. Joanne Wood, who is also fighting on this card and is the co-meet event, which is fascinating to see. And Maya's the only one who has ever won a round against Shevchenko, uh, not named Nunes. So it's interesting to see that she is a plus 340 dog. Uh, it's a sizable dog to the minus 450 of Manol Fierro. Do you think it's justified? And is Fierro going to walk through Maya and then maybe be one fight away from a title shot? Because it's a pretty, uh, I don't want to say vacant division, but it's one that's open and they're looking for the next contender. So is this a, a big win for Fierro? Yeah, I think this is going to be a big win. Um, I mean, Maya's kind of had her chance, let's be honest. She's been in the game for a while. She's a seasoned vet, so this will be a levels test for, um, you know, the beast. But uh, I think this is kind of a layup for her. She should get it done pretty easily. Maya hasn't been looking the best, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm definitely staying away from this for all bets and odds. But my pick for sure is going to be the beast in this one. And I think Maya gets the can after this loss. Yeah, perhaps that's, you know, not too unreasonable. And, you know, it seems like the sentiment is pretty similar over at Tapology as well, right? 88% is rolling with the beast. Majority of it thinks it's by decision, but about 15% of it is brown for that KO, TKO. We know that the beast is absolutely lethal on the feet. Uh, she does some pretty spectacular stuff when there. Uh, you got to imagine Jennifer Miles probably going to try and take this fight to the mat. Are you at all concerned about... Uh, Fierro's takedown defense, or is it going to be stout enough to stop Maya? And do you think that the 15% uh, brown for Fierro isn't that unreasonable, and maybe she gets a finish in this one? Yeah, definitely not unreasonable. I could see definitely a finish. I mean, uh, the Beast is definitely a way bigger person, so she shouldn't have any issues. As long as she's been practicing that takedown defense, she should be able to keep it on the feet and get that KO or solid decision. Yeah, with you all the way, I think that Beast decision is probably the right play here, but I don't know, the minus 450 uh, isn't too, too uh, savoring for me because, you know, Jennifer Maya is a tough woman. Uh, she will go out there and definitely bring the fight to the Beast. And, uh, you know, this is probably the highest level of competition that Fierro has seen to date. But uh, I'm with you. I think Fierro's a real deal. Uh, I'm excited to see what she does in this fight and then what she does afterwards because... I mean, if there's someone who could emerge in this division and actually be a challenge to the bullet Chevchenko, then uh, that would be pretty exciting for sure. So we're both rolling with the beast in this one. Let us know in the comments if you're rolling with Fierro or is uh, Midi Maya going to pull off this upset? Let us know.